Okay, I'm at the baseball field again. And I was just brushing around in the dirt here. And I just pulled this out. It looks like a little hatted scraper. A little bit of damage on the base there. Well, that's a good start. I'm wearing my polarized sunglasses today. I find that in bright sun, this helps to eliminate the glare uh, off the dirt. And uh, it really helps you to be able to see the small pieces of flint a lot better. That's where my little boy wants to be right now. That's the Kentucky Splash Water Park. He's been asking us to go all day. But you know how it is. Got to do what Mama says. Mama wanted to go shopping today, so I abandoned ship and came over here to find an arrowhead. Now you can see right here all the dirt that they are moving in to the baseball field. So I don't know how much longer I'll be able to look for arrowheads here. As soon as the gravels get down here, that'll be the end of my arrowhead days. Unless I can find another spot. Okay, I just found this little piece here. I think it's just a percussion flake. It's flat on the back. What I'm looking for are artifacts that have been scooped out from this area here, which is where I found that nice Kirk corner notch I got, and deposited down there, and somehow end up on top of the ground on the surface where I can find them. Now I'm hoping that little scraper wasn't the kiss of death. Because just walking into a place and picking up an artifact is like a fisherman catching a fish on the first cast. Usually that's about all you're going to get for the day. Now I think this is where the campsite was. This soil here is really dark uh, from all the decayed uh, organic material. And most of the artifacts I found have either came from this area or dirt that was scooped out of this area. But finding artifacts, eh, there's a lot of luck involved because you're trying to find something that was transferred by a bulldozer and somehow deposited on the surface of the ground and not broken. And there hasn't been any rain so it's hard for me to spot flint when it's dry. Now I picked up that first point in my first video in this area. As you can see, that's quite a ways away from what I consider the camp. It was another one of those kiss of death type scenarios where I just walked right over here and picked it up and that was all I found that day. Except that one other triangular point. Well, I guess that little scraper was the kiss of death. And as you can see, it's very hot out here. I'm sweating. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'll call it quits for today. Thanks, guys.